Hi friends, welcome to lecture 39 on our helicopter dynamics course. And today I'm going to discuss the concept of figure of merit. I'm Dr. Ranjan Ganguly. Now, essentially, this particular figure of merit, we use the symbol M here to denote this quantity is a measure of the rotor hovering efficiency. And M can be defined as a ratio of the minimum possible power you require divided by the actual power required to maintain this hover flight condition. So you can naturally see that this is going to be one or less than one. Now, as far as the minimum possible power required is there, you would realize from our previous discussions that it is going to be the power which is related to the power to generate trust, and that is the induced power loss. So sometimes this is also known as the ideal rotor. Essentially, this is a rotor which does not have any profile losses, which behaves like a perfect actuator disk. And therefore, the issues about tip losses, swirl in the wake and all are absent. So it's like the perfect rotor whose function is only to produce the trust. So this, of course, is a stretch goal. It's not really possible in reality, but we use it as a stretch goal which we want to get towards and in the process design a better rotor. So now let's get some equations into this metric. So already we know from momentum theory that the power is TV is T into the induced velocity. Okay, this is the induced power which is required to hover in place in flight. Now, if you want to calculate the figure of merit, we divide this power by the actual power P. So in non-dimensional form, the induced power is CT 3 by 2 by root 2. We derived it in a previous lecture. And this is divided by CP, which is the actual power. So this is the general formula for M. Now let us look at a comparison here with the propeller. So we saw that for a helicopter rotor, M would be T small v by P, where we know that small v is the induced power and T is the trust produced by the rotor, P is the complete power. Now if you compare it with the formula for the propulsive efficiency of a propeller that is given by T capital V by P. Here capital V is the forward speed of the propeller. So essentially the aircraft is flying forward and so the air is going through the propeller with the velocity V. So you can clearly see certain similarity between these two expressions. So now one of our aims is going to be to get a better closed form expression for M. So we are going to slowly proceed to that. So now from our previous discussions, we know that M would be the CP produced purely due to the ideal rotor divided by CPI plus CP0. Now CP0 is the profile power. This is about 25% of the total power. And CPI is the induced power, which is typically 10 to 20% more than the ideal power loss, which would be given by this expression here. So essentially this difference between these two CPIs is largely due to tip losses, some of the effect of swirl in wake and so on. So those are essentially captured in CPI, but they are not captured in the CPI. 
ideal. So now you would realize that the perfect figure of merit you could get is one. And this is also the target for rotor designers, though if you are living in a real physical world, that would be impossible because you cannot get rid of viscosity or tip losses or swirl in the wake and such phenomena. But typically M would be lower than one for a real rotor because of all these losses, which are not desirable, which are not required to produce trust, but which are there nonetheless. So most well-designed rotors would have a figure of merit of 0.7 to 0.8. It is hard to breach 0.8 here. And for a badly designed rotor, M could be something like 0.5. One more thing, is that smaller rotors such as those used in drones have lower M values. So this is something you will see when you make any calculation. Now, one of the reasons the figure of merit is widely used is that whenever you are designing a new rotor, you want to calculate this figure of merit M to get an estimate about how efficient your rotor actually is. And maybe there may be some way to improve this figure of merit. And if you go back to the formula, you will clearly realize that the way to improve this figure is to reduce the profile losses because that's in the denominator and also to reduce the induced power losses which are taking place because of different phenomena such as the tip losses, swirl and so on. So most of the focus is of course towards reducing the profile power loss because that is coming directly from the blades and from the viscosity and also from the blade section you have selected. So these are some of the things you can control. So in the next lectures we are going to develop expressions for the figure of merit and before we do that we need to get a handle on profile power as of yet we have not developed any expression for profile power so we are going to develop an expression for profile power and then try to develop an expression for m so i'll stop now i will see you in my next video